was even. Ooh, it looks like Ilza. Number 13 is the winner, and it's only a nose. 13, 9 and 6, Ilza. 25, 10 and 670. Nine Dame Kath at 270. Six break dance for third, two dollars and fifty cents. More from Rod in a moment. Race six Gold Coast, one broken silence, twelve three, two black Henry, fifteen and three, three in Vino Veritas, twenty two, four, four, have a say, nineteen five, five mighty red, sixteen three. First out here, Langano bounced in front from Super Wench and close up is to find and over on the inside, Orford Court is starting to push forward, settling down. It's Langano off the fence from Orford Court from Defined and Super Wench three out. A length further back, Trey Trey Tracy Ann followed by Encountering Mess. Grand Union in that bunch on the inside, Oregon Seal. Two lengths aerobics followed over on the inside by Penny Arcade. Two to Lindoni, a length and a half Insomnia. Two further back, Joyenda. And moving along last of all at the 1,000 metre mark, they race down the back. Langano in front but well off the fence, a half to Orford Court. A half Super Wench and Trey Trey Tracy Ann pushes up in the middle. Further back, Encountering Mess is very deep around Grand Union, running sixth in the middle. They're followed by on the outside of those to find on the fence. Oregon Seal about four lengths off the lead, two lengths further back aerobics. On the inside of it then came Penny Arcade, a length Lindoni. Further back in the race, Insomnia moving along. And last of all, Joyenda, 600 out. And Langano led three quarters off at court. The leader is well off the rail. Three quarters of a length further back then came Super Wench, followed by Encountering Miss. Grand Union lost some ground from Oregon Seal nearer the inside. Then Trey Trey Tracy Ann, they straighten up. Orford caught the leader up on the inside now of outside at Langano, followed by Oregon Seal starting to pick up and run on well. They've got away from Lindoni with a late run. Out wide Langano with Orford Court and Avon there at the centre of the track. It's Oregon Seal picking up now and further out Lindoni. Oregon Seals hit the front with 100 to go now from Langano and Lindoni on the outside moving along back on the fence. Oregon Seal, will she find the line? Yes, she's got there. Oregon Seal a half length to moving along ahead third on the outside Lindoni further back then Langano from aerobics followed by Insomnia Orford Court Joyenda. Trey, Trey, Tracy Ann, further back in the race, Grand Union, followed by Encountering Miss. Super Wentz dropped off in the last 400 from Petty Arcade and defined near the tail. One out at Kembla. Now at Sandown, the late scratchings are still in the market. Number one, Oregon Seal, around $4.170. 13, moving along, eight forty. Fifteen 15, Lindoni to return, $6.90. Approximately for one, Oregon Seal, four forty one eighty. Thirteen 30, moving along, six eighty. Fifteen 15, Lindoni, $6.50. Seven and 16, both late scratchings. Just before the start there, Hip Hop and My Girl Emma at Sandown. And it's 1.13.15 official there. began very quickly off the inside gate. Majestic Heights a little slow away. Regal Lagoon going forward and Giovanna began quickly. She's going up in the early start. Chris having a look over each shoulder looking for the pace of the race. Avild was fast away and Figueron going forward in the early part as well. Then fly by night. Nasdam, Sophie's Gold. Precocious is next on the outside. Followed then by Miss Zoe. She's getting back in the field. She's there in company with Capulta. La Chatelaine Majestic Heights. Let's Cruise getting well back. Ethel's towards the rear and City recruiters last of all. 
Well, they go to the turn out of the straight, 1,800 metres out, and Voile d'Or, she takes over. This is her favourite role. She loves to roll along out in front. She's increasing the tempo now. Voile d'Or moving away, two lengths clear. A Vilda's into a lovely trolley position, and so is Giovanna, a length away third on the inside. One further back to fly by night, followed by Sophie's Gold. Speed is genuine early. Then Regal Lagoon, as down on the inside of Figueron. Precocious is next, then last Chatelaine. Miss Zoe Majestic Heights well back with Capulta Ethel. Then Let's Cruise and last of all is City Recruit and she's 20 lengths off the leader. 1,300 metres to go. Wild Door just increasing the tempo again. She's moved away. She's leading by five lengths. Avilda's running second. Giovanna has given a lovely run. She's third on the inside. There goes Regal Lagoon. She's improving quickly. She's moving up on the outside of Giovanna as they go to the 1,000. Fly by Night is next. Over on the inside is Azdam. Then La Chatelaine and in that bunch two is Figueront. Going up on the outside there is Miss Zoe. Picking up ground two is Precocious. Cupola is next in the centre. Majestic Heights and then Let Cruz. Back the second last is Ethel and City Recruiters still at the rear. Coming down the side, 700 metres to go and Wild Door is the leader. She's a length and a half in front of a Vilda. Vilda's had a beautiful trail. Giovanna's one length away third, then Regal Lagoon followed by Asdam under a little bit of pressure. Fly by Knight and Miss Zoe going forward on the outside. A length further back to Sophie's Gold and then Figueroa. Cupolda's next in the centre, followed by Last Chatelaine. Well back, City Recruit and coming to the outside as they head for home is Let's cruise. Wild Door is beaten, and as they head for the judge, Giovanna putting it her bit on the outside, and she sprinted to the lead. She's bounded away the New Zealand filly. 200 metres to go. Giovanna's raced away from them. Four lengths in front. City recruiters out of the pack, and she's flying home, and then a Vilden as dumb. But it's all Giovanna inside the final 100 metres. She's going to bolt in in the Oaks. Giovanna to the line by three lengths. City recruit got second, third figure on. Then Let's cruise running on. As dumb was the next one home. Further the back came Precocious in company with Regal Lagoon and Ethel, then Cupola. A build well back was Wild Door, and the last few over the line, Sophie's Gold, Miss Zoe, Majestic Heights, Fly by Night, and Last Chatelaine pulling up very quickly after going over the line. And the totes are 7 Giovanna, 440 and 180, 4 City Recruits, 330, 9 Figure on 530. The Quinn 7 Giovanna to return, 420, 170, 4 City Recruit, 320 and 9 figure rent, $5.30 after race number 6 on the program in Brisbane today. Perth is next and that will be followed by race 6 Adelaide at 3.30 today. Adelaide. Limit two of the fastest to begin. No Limit's trying to get around Stella Marie. Salem's tip trapped out wide third, followed by Shamrocks, a half special forces from Passmore on the inside. A length further back to Gold Dredge, two lengths to the well-supported Disney Dollard, who's travelling on the inside. Of next, the last came Benison, a length and a half last of all was Dotcom. Up towards the 1100 metre mark they go and uh, on the inside Stella Marie joined by Shamrocks out wide. Shamrocks gets three quarters to a length in front over Stella Marie. Two lengths third is No Limit easing out of the early speed battle followed by Salem's Tip who's fourth. A half to pass more on the inside of Special Forces followed by Gold Dredge. Now next to last Disney Dollars with Benison on the outside of it and two lengths last of all was Dot Com. About 12 from first to last as they move up towards the 600. Shamrocks keeps to race. Leads a half length over Stella Marie who still holds its ground on the inside. No limits third. Salem's tip wide followed by Passmore rolling off the rails and a half to Gold Dredge. Special Forces. Disney Dollar on the inside and shaken up followed by Benison. Last.com. Into the straight 350 out. The inside Stella Marie. Shamrocks the outer. They go level pegging. Passmore third a length away. Followed by Disney Dollars who's warming up. Gold Dredge and Benison down the outside. Stella Marie pinches a break inside the 200. Leads by a length over Passmore. Passmore, Gold Dredge, Benison on the outside. Stella Marie is just in front. Passmore moves up. Dot com from last flying. Passmore or dot com. It's very tight to the naked eye. Passmore, but dot com has finished very fast late. Only a nose away third. Stella Marie from Shamrocks, Gold Dredge and Benison. Next, Disney Dollars who didn't run on from Special Forces. No limit. And last of all was Salem's tip. What have we had so far? Uh, the fourth was a nose, the fifth was a nose, the sixth was a half head, and this isn't much longer. It looks like Passmore in the middle, with Dotcom motoring home, looking at the slow-mo. Passmore will get this, and there go the numbers. Passmore, number five, has defeated nine Dotcom and one Stella Marie third. 1260, 320 for five, it's one only by a nose. 
Nine the second dot com came for blast at 6.30. One Stella Marie Grant Buckley, $2.10. It's the barest possible and knows past more Kevin Moses. He's been uh, placed all day and finally salutes first. Five pass more what? Fourteen dollars and three twenty nine dot com five sixty one Stella Marie one dollar and ninety cents. Updating the next at the Gold Coast, we're up to race number seven there. The seventh at the coast due to go at three forty five. One Astral Joy six forty one. They're off and running. Gascoigne got up in the air at the start, missed it a length and a half. Oregon Stars allowed to drop out after the jump away and first out Sir Hummer. Happy Festival travels forward now from Kingston Way and further back just behind those Jamestown. Cosrays on the fence early, further out Paxtino into Napolis. And from the outside, Devon Valley Ladies coming over now, followed further back by Nazaro. Fox Man and back behind those now is the hour. Heading down towards the winning post with a lap to go. Happy Festival, Kingston Way. And Devon Valley Lady goes up on the outside of those leaders now to put a head in front. And with a lap to go, Devon Valley Lady ahead in front, but she's three deep around Happy Festival. Kingston way up in the middle. Two lengths further back, Sir Hummer. Outside it, then Jamestown. Indianapolis out three deep. A length the Foxman. Then Paxtino followed by Gascoigne. Then Nazaro now as the hour. Desert Wolf, Cosrose, Kalina Raffin. Oregon Star second last with Copper Wildwood. Out of the straight they go. At the 1600 metre mark and Happy Festival. A neck in front. Devon Valley Lady up on the outside. Inclined to pull. A length further back, Sir Hummer. Tucked away third on the inside of Kingston way. Fourth. One further back, Jamestown. Fifth the half. Then Indianapolis sixth. A length and a gas coin on the inside of Foxman. A length further back, Pax Tino. One and a half now is the hour. Outside at Nazaro, two lengths further back, Kalina Raffin. The inside of it, Desert Wolf. A length and a half, Cosrose, Copper Wildwood. And two to Oregon Star, last of all, the fave. Going down the back at the 1200 metre mark, Happy Festival. Nearly a length in front. From on the outside, Devon Valley Lady. Two lengths further back, third, Kingston Way. A neck away, fourth on the inside, Sir Hummer. A length and a half, Jamestown, fifth. One further back, Indianapolis, three deep around Pax Tino. Gas coin, the rail, a length and a fox man from now is the hour. Uh, Desert Wolf back on the inside of Nazaro. A length and a half the grey Kalina Raffin. Two to Copper Wildwood followed by Cosrose. And a length and a half last of all Oregon Star. About 15 to 16 off the front. Coming down the hill at the 800 metre mark. And on the outside Devon Valley Ladies now starting to test Happy Festival. And the mayor put a head in front. Devon Valley Lady a neck in front now from Happy Festival. Right behind them Sahama getting off the fence has had a good easy run. Outside at Kingston Way a length into Jamestown. Two lengths to Fox Man from Gas. Coin followed further back in the race by uh, further back into Napolis and then Nazaro. Oregon Star last of the main pack, 15 lengths off them. Uh, happy Festival and on the outside coming at it again now, Devon Valley Lady. Two to Sir Hummer followed by Jamestown into the clear. He's running on fairly followed further back by Desert Wolf. Then Fox Man Nazaro right down the outside. Devon Valley Lady in front. Here's Jamestown coming after with 150 to go. Devon Valley Lady a neck in front. Jamestown and Fox Man with a run. Devon Valley Lady again got clear. She's in front of Jamestown and Foxman and Devon Valley Lady does it again. Devon Valley Lady a length and a half on the line. Jamestown second, a half head away, third Foxman. Then came Kalina Raffin from Oregon Star, Gascoigne, Sir Hummer and further back in the race, Nazaro. A gap to now is the hour. Further back, Desert Wolf followed by Kingston Way. Copper Wildwood, a gap, Paxtino, Indianapolis and Cosrose and the last one home. Happy first of all after being first around the turn is last of all. Number five, Devon Valley Lady, thirteen dollars forty and three dollars eighty. Two Jamestown, two forty. One Foxman, four twenty. And back to Cabler Grange as well. Afternoon, everyone. The past the post, Melbourne. Number five, Devon Valley Lady, twelve forty three eighty. Two Jamestown, two fifty. One Foxman, at three dollars and seventy cents. Now repeating uh, correct weight at Queanbeyan on the. Uh, let's uh, go to Wayne. High running run.
They're racing this time and Gallopini flew the gates near the inside, bounced in front, but Super Espion and Antiquity Roulette all showing good speed early. High rolling going forward as well. St. Clemens Bell caught a little white. Pleasure Giver began okay, but he's drifting back inside of Tarumba. Guineas is off the track. Tiaka Dancer is next in the centre. Getting back as Charlie Chops, then Lady of Aragon, Bella Senor, major victory. And Majors last of all, coming down the side, just short of 800 metres to go. Super Espion shows the way. Three quarters of a length in front of High Rolling, sneaking over close to the rails now, but by St. Clemens Bell, she's going up to contest the premier spot, but she's wide, Guineas is four wide as well as they approach the corner Antiquity and Gallopini just behind them, Charlie Chops must be out ten wide as they come to the bend, just behind them Tiaka Dancer, they're in the straight now 400 metres to go, Super Espioni kicked away from them, he's a length and a half in front of St. Clemens Bell, high rolling under pressure Gallopini up to third on the inside Antiquity, Guineas running on, Charlie Chops down the outside, their major victory Gallopini's looking a bit of a danger to Super Espion. Gallopini went to the lead with 100 metres to go. Gallopini's just in front of Super Espion. Then Antiquity and Guineas. Gallopini in front. They hit it. Gallopini. Gallopini has beaten Super Espion. Third home Antiquity. Followed in by Major or Tarumba in a photo for fourth, I think. Then Charlie Chops and Guineas. Bella Senor. Please give it. Lady of Aragon next. Further back was Roulette St. Clemens Bell, Tiaka Dancer. And High Roland has stopped badly in the straight. He's finished last in a long last at that. Number nine, Gallopini, $8.20 and three even. Seven, Super S beyond $7.20. Eight, Antiquity, $3.80. And the... On the Super Term, number nine, Gallopini, should pay $7.32.70. Seven, Super S beyond $6.70. And eight for third, Antiquity, at $3.40. Our totes at Sandown on race number six. one of the fastest to begin, bounced a length in front of Empiric second, whipping up on the outside as Dealer, followed by Chin Hoi Marty's Magic, a length and a half to Bargain, they're out by two over the grey, Bowwood Forest, on the outside Gracida, followed by Pajamas, a length and a half to Catapult, Simogen works around it, followed by Bell Quattro, two and a half to King Win. next to last another Marauder, and two lengths last after jumping awkwardly was Freeport. They're really stringing out as they head to the 1,000. Empiric on the inside with an early speed battle with Dealer. Empiric's a length in front over Dealer. They've got the others. Ten lengths away, third, Chin Hoy. It's on the outside of Marty's Magic. Two further back to Bargain, followed by Bowwood Forest on the outside of Rubatoff. A length to Simogen, followed by Gracida. Pajamas, two lengths to Catapult. Del Quattro, followed by another Marauder on the inside of King Win. And still Freeport back at the rear of the field. Well, it's really been cutthroat tactics in front as they move towards the home turn. Empiric on the inside and on the outside was Dealer. They go hammer and tongs, two and a half lengths away. Third, Marty's Magic. Chin Hoy running on. These leaders are coming back to the field quickly. Rubatoff next, followed by on the outside, uh, now Bargain. Bowwood Forest and here's Catapult right down the outside. Empiric in front, Rubatoff the inside and Catapult drives up on the outside, dashes to the front and starts to race right away. Into second was Bargain, but a big win to Catapult. Catapult wins by five lengths. Tight for the Miners, Bargain or Freeport who came from last. Close up, King Wind followed by Gracida. Bowwood Forest didn't run on from Chin Hoy. Next, Bell Quattro, Rubatoff followed by Pajamas. Empiric knocked up, it had to. Followed by Marty's Magic, Simogen. Another Bargain was back, or another Marauder back next to last and knocking up Dealer after the early speed battle with Empiric. And it's back at the rear of the field. Gee, they went silly in front made play for a horse coming from behind it was catapult bit of a nibble to say catapult had run a race in the last event and has done so 175 catapult 1234 dollars seven bargain grant buckley 770 five freeport came from last rod quinn at two dollars ninety on super tab one catapult 12 even 420 seven bargain seven dollars fifty and five freeport two dollars and sixty cents now weights right at uh, belmont totes are up and first out, Pete the Pretty six even, scratchings eight and nine. Uh, Brian Park just... And they're off in the final event today, and one of the best away is Angel's Jewel. Rubatai missed it about a length and a half, and is a clear last. Gentle Call getting up on the inside of Angel's Jewel, settling down from Lady Julie Love's Choice. Patton of Bells is very wide, but pushing up towards the front. A length further back, always forever followed by Southland's Chow Baby.
Call Me Lily from Miss Perry Perry, then Follow Gold, River Tice picked up some ground from Twilight Road, Melbourne Crown, then Spring Hill Express at the 800 metre mark, and well off the fence, Angels Jeweler half to Pattern of Bells, ahead third back in the black colours there, Gentle Call pushing up towards the front, the grey lady Julie back in the middle fourth, the length for the back, Love's Choice. Three quarters the outside, Chow Baby from Southlands, always forever the rail. Follow gold deep around, Call Me Lily, two for the back, Miss Perry Perry. River Tie's got a job from there from Spring Hill Express, Twilight Road and Melbourne Crown. Into the straight, 400 to go now. Angels Jewel in front from Lady Julie and on the outside, Pattern of Bells going up to the leader from Love's Choice behind them. Further back, Southlands followed by Chow Baby. Then Follow Gold, River Tie's a mile off them. Love's Choice in the middle and on the outside, Pattern of Bells has got to the front from Angel's Jewel. On the outside, Pat Navelle. Love's Choice comes back again. Love's Choice a half in front. Drawing clear now. And Love's Choice takes the last to length on the line. Two Pat Navelles. Two away third. Great go. Chow Baby or Call Me Lily in a photo from Angel's Jewel. Then Southlands follow gold. River Tie blew it at the start from Always Forever Lady Julie. Spring Hill Express further back Miss Perry Perry. Gentle call and near the tail is Twilight Road. Bar one tailed off Melbourne Crown. Number four, Love's Choice, 7.30 and 2.70. Over seven, Patton of Bells, $3. But over third, two, Chow Baby, 2.80. Or ten, Call Me Lily at $5.90. Eagle Farm, the last... No, I can't help you with approximate there. That horse still in our pool, number six. These riders look straight into the sun here when they jump out of the barrier stools, and you can see... I can see Alan Shuck with the hand up to the hat trying to see the signal. Now they're right. Ready to go. Off and racing now in the last event of the day. The grey make mine magic came out okay in the middle of the line. Over near the inside, Diaga got out okay. Cronus going up with reputed groom and behemoth. And make mine magic's trying to get over behind them. And when they come down the running the first time, it's Cronus going to the lead, reputed groom second. Now Diaga races third, Bluebird the words going up quickly, and Bohemoth is settling on the inside of Make Mine Magic. He's just off the pace now, the favourite. A length and a half to Shaska, he's racing on the outside of Ken's Joy, followed by Brew, Yippee Io, and last of all, Lady Solville. Out of the straight, 1,800 metres to go, and Cronus is the leader, joined by Bluebird the word, reputed groom a length away third, Diaga fourth the outside. A length and a quarter to Make Mine Magic on the outside of Bohemoth. A length away, Shars Gay on the tail of Make Mine Magic. A half to Ken's Joy on the rail. A length and a half to Brewer, Nick to Yippie I.O. and two to Lady Solville. Down the back past the 1,500 metres mark and Cronus is settling better today than he did in the Doomben Cup last week. He led by a length over Bluebird, the word, reputed groom third. Diaga's in a good spot fourth, one off the rail. A length and a half, Bohemoth is on the inside of Make Mine Magic and the favourites one off the fence with a nice cart along. He's been tailed up by Shars Gay on the outside there of Ken's Joy and back towards the tail of the field came Yippie Io. He's on the inside of Brew and last of all, Lady Solville. Up to the top corner. 1,000 metres left to go, and Cronus has had everything his own way today. He's a length over Bluebird, the word, one reputed groom. And then Diaga fourth, Bohemoth next on the inside. Make Mine Magic outside him. Shars Gay is still tracking Make Mine Magic all the way. Ken's Joy and Nick further back on the fence. And then came Brew on the outside of the big fellow, Yippie Io, and last Lady Solville. 700 metres left to go, they're approaching the crossing, and Cronus is the leader from Bluebird, the word, reputed groom, third, Diaga, fourth, Make Mine Magic's now called upon, Bohemoth on the inside, and Shars Gay's trying to go with Make Mine Magic from Yippie Io, in the straight, 400 to go, Cronus the leader from Bluebird, the word, and Diaga, Make Mine Magic is coming at them quickly, Ken's Joy looking for a run, and then Shars Gay, and then came Yippie Io at the 200, and Make Mine Magic went up, and Ken's Joy went with him on the inside, Side. It's Make Mine Magic and Ken's Joy together with 100 to go. Ken's Joy's getting the upper hand. Ken's Joy's coming away from Make Mine Magic and Yippie Io. And Ken's Joy wins the O'Shea from Make Mine Magic. Yippie Io third. And then Bohemoth. Oh, big cup trial, Bohemoth. Then came Diaga Cronus, followed by Shaskay, Lady Solville, Bluebird, the word reputed groom. And last tome was Brew. Ken's Joy the winner to give Justin Stanley a winning double. He won the first race today on the Kildare Kid. And he got this horse through in the middle. And just when Make Mine Magic looked the winner, Ken's Joy got to him and outstayed him fairly and squarely in the run to the post. And that would have to put grave doubts over Make Mine Magic running in the derby next Saturday. And I suppose Alan Bailey will have a think about it, but they have to cough up $22,000, the connections on Tuesday, uh, for a late nom for the derby. 
and the fact that he's been beaten today might throw a spanner in the works. 7, 11 and 3 are the numbers in the last event of the day. Number 7, Ken's Joy. His saddle shifted at the Gold Coast the other day in the Prime Minister's Cup and today off a good gate. He was ridden as he usually is, back in the field near the fence. He got through in the middle. He outstayed Make Mine Magic fairly and squarely in the run of the post. And the old campaigner, Yippee Io, got home strongly on the outside. Yes, he proved the form all wrong when uh, the saddle ship, uh, shifted last start, Ken's